Hi, Gary. I don't know how much you'll want or actually need to be able to do this, but um, it seems like an important step. I'm going to go ahead and make you a user on the website. Uh, I'm going to give you um, an, a username and a password, uh, and that will get you logged into the back end of the website. And this is what that looks like. Um, when you first get logged in, you're going to be here on the dashboard. This left-hand side is basically just a menu of different things. There's only a couple of these that I think you're going to need ever, um, so I think you can you can ignore most of it. But um, a couple of things that you will want to take a look at. One is here is where your orders come in. So if you hover over WooCommerce and you come to orders, or if you can just you can either do that or you can click on WooCommerce and then you can see this sub menu opens up and then you can click on orders here. In any case, this is going to keep a complete history of all of the orders on the website. So you can see all of these uh, test orders that have that have gone through. It doesn't look like any real orders yet since they're all like uh, just a couple of dollars. Um, but in any case, you can see the, the status of each one of these. Um, Processing does mean at that point, I think that the, the payment has been processed and it has actually been charged to the card. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be tracking using this at all, but if you are, you may want to, you know, once an order is complete, uh, to come in here. And then once you ship it, you could um, put it to completed and hit update on the order. And that way when you're looking at the at the orders back here, then you can see the ones that are done and the ones that you still need to ship. That would that's a how you people usually track uh, what's been done and what hasn't been done. So if for some reason, you know, somebody places the order and it says processing and then they decide they want their money back and you decide you're going to do that, you can't grant the refund through the back end of the site. You'll have to do that in your in your Heartland dashboard. Um, but you know, uh, this does let you you know click into these order excuse me these orders and see all of the the details here uh, where it's shipping to, what the billing address is, what exactly they ordered, how much they paid for those items. Um, yeah every single one of these is is tracked. Once you get to, I think, 20 or 30 items or whatever, there's going to be pagination down here at the bottom. So it'll say page one of two or five or however many you've got. Um, but it'll always keep the newest one on top. You can see this newest one from Robbie. Robin was uh, only seven hours ago, and then the older ones get older as you go down the list. There's a lot that can be done with the tools on here. Um, but I think I'm just going to start you off with this one, and then I'll make you a separate one on how to edit the products. Uh, if you want to learn more, I can definitely teach you more, um, but I thought I'd just keep it real simple to start. So um, this was your one on checking on the orders. Again, WooCommerce orders, and then they're all listed out here, and you can click into any one of these. Uh, and once you've shipped it, if you want to track it this way, you can change the order to completed and then hit update here. Uh, in order for you to see this completed label here and know that you still have these three more to ship out. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.